yes good morning students so today we are going to study the introduction of the introduction to the applied thermodynamics so myself professor ganesh naik i have total 10 years of experience in teaching currently i am working as an assistant professor in dr d y patil institute of engineering management and research akodi pune okay so let us start <coughs> so basically this applied thermodynamics is included with six units okay so if you see here the first unit is a refrigeration and psychometry this is the first unit in which we are going to study in detail about the refrigeration and psychometry this is the second unit introduction to internal combustion engine or it is also, uh, internal combustion engine is also called as ic engine okay so we are Uh, in detail we are going to study about the ic engines and their uh, classification and all uh, types next details of si engine details of si and ci engine okay so in this we will see the combustion takes place in the si engine and ci engine how it is takes place in the si and ci engine that we are going to study in this particular uh, chapter okay next for chapter ic engine testing and emission okay so in this we are going to study about engine testing and emissions next chapter that is fifth chapter is engine systems and alternative fuels and last chapter we are going to study is compressor okay so let us see in detail about this particular chapters so, uh, so that you will understand what we are going to cover in this chapters okay so let us start so this is the applied thermodynamics progress so first refrigeration and air conditioning oh, sorry refrigeration and psychometry so in this first of all we are going to see we are going to see the refrigeration after that vcc that is vapor compression cycle and second is vapor absorption cycle and second part that we are going to study in this particular <coughs> is psychrometry so only these two parts are important in the refrigeration and psychrometry chapter okay let us see in the next that is introduction to internal combustion engine that is ic engine so in this we are going to study in first section we are we will cover basics of ic engine that is classification and second we will see what are what is meant by air standard cycle fuel cycle fuel air cycle actual air cycle and their comparison okay that we are going to study in this second chapter details of si and ci engine third unit in this we are going to see first si engine and its combustion detonation and octane rating okay so what is mean by uh, detonation what is mean by octane rating that we are going to study next we are going to study in detail about the ci engine and its combustion knocking and seat rating <coughs> in uh, chapter number 4 we will see uh, that is ic engine testing and emission in this ic engine testing performance evaluation and parameters okay and second emission and controlling methods so in fifth chapter that is engine systems and alternative fuels in this first part is engine systems such as air uh, such as cooling system lubrication system and ignition system okay so we will talk about this Uh, alternative fuels such as biodiesel ethanol lpg cng and hydrogen so this is uh, this particular content are there in the chapter number 5 and last chapter that is compressor in this we will see reciprocating compressor multi staging what is by multi staging intercooler and after cooler and second we will talk about the rotary compressor in first session we will see the Uh, reciprocating compressor and in second po uh, portion we will see the rotary compressor such as root blowers vent type screws compressor and scroll compressor okay so this is the progress of the applied thermodynamics now what is the course objective the objective of this particular uh, subject is to determine cop of refrigeration cycle and study psychrometric properties and processes second to study working of engine actual air fuel and air standard cycle and its performance third to understand combustion in si and ci engine 
and factors affecting performance parameters. To study emission from IC engines and its controlling method, various emission norms. Okay. Fifth, to estimate performance parameters by conducting a test on IC engines. So that we will uh, actually this we will cover in the this we will cover in the <coughs> practicals. Okay, and sixth is to determine performance parameters of positive displacement compressor. Okay, now what is the course outcomes? So the course outcomes are uh, on completion of this particular uh, course, learners will be able to understand first. Uh, determine COP of a refrigeration system and analyze psychometric processes. So this is the main outcome. Second outcome, discuss basics of engine terminology, air standard, fuel air and actual cycles, CO3, identify factors affecting the combustion performance of SI and CI engines. CO4, determine performance parameters of IC engines and emission control. CO5, explain working of various IC engines systems and use of alternative fuels and last that is CO number 6 is calculate performance of single and multi-stage reciprocating compressors and discuss rotary positive displacement compressors okay so the, that was the objectives and outcomes of the uh, this particular course now let us see the first unit that is refrigeration and psychrometry so here a refrigeration okay and vapor compression cycle and vapor absorption cycle we will uh, going to see in this first part of this particular chapter. So, basic thing that we have to study before studying actually the refrigeration system, vapor compression cycle, and vapor absorption cycle, you should be able to know what is meant by reverse Carnot cycle. Okay, in first uh, semester, that is in engineering thermodynamics, we have already studied about what is the Carnot cycle, but in this, we have to see what is the reverse Carnot cycle. Okay. So, reversing the Carnot cycle does reverse the direction of heat and work interactions. So, whatever direction was there in the uh, Carnot cycle, just what we have to do, we have to reverse the direction of that Carnot cycle. So, you will get the reverse Carnot cycle. A uh, refrigerator or a heat pump that operates on the reverse Carnot cycle is called a Carnot refrigerant, a refrigerator or a Carnot heat pump. Okay. The reverse Carnot cycle is the most efficient refrigeration cycle operating between two specified temperature levels. It sets the highest theoretical COP. Okay. Now, if you see here in this case, uh, this is the general actually uh, reverse refrigeration cycle actually. What is happening here in this case, if you see here, just one second, let me take one pen. <clears throat> so, if you see here, from lower temperature that is TL, from lower temperature limit, what we are, uh, heat is taking, okay, heat is supplied to the evaporator actually and through this evaporator, whatever refrigerant is available in the vapor state that will be uh, supplied to the compressor and from this compressor, the high pressurized uh, refrigerant, okay, or the vapor we can say that, that is supplied to the condenser and in this condenser heat rejection takes place okay and after that the liquid vapor or we can say that liquid refrigerant that is there uh, after the condenser that is supplied to the actually expansion wall okay here there is the expansion wall okay so this uh, turbine is also a expansion device that's why here we have written turbine so this is the expansion wall and after that uh, in this expansion wall pressure drastically reduces at the and the enthalpy remains constant in this particular expansion wall and after that it is again supplied to the evaporator and this procedure continues okay <coughs> next so this is all about the reverse Carnot cycle and here if you if you see here in the pressure volume diagram you can see clearly here so, this 1 to 2 process is the adiabatic compression process, 2 to 3 process is the isothermal compression, 3 to 4 process is adiabatic ex expansion process and 4 to 1 process is the isothermal expansion process. Okay. 
So I hope you understand this. So thank you very much.